Hello! How's it going on everybody? This is your true this small GT speaking here. And welcome to Cry of Fear. Now, this actually happens to be a mod for Half-Life 1, which is actually a game which I actually haven't played. And I gotta say, despite the graphics of Half-Life 1, this 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 main screen it looks phenomenal. If that's the right term that I'm using. And yet, if you're asking, yes, this is actually a horror game. And we are gonna jump right into it. Choose a difficulty. Eh, let's go with medium. I'm gonna I don't wanna get my butt kicked. something I can relate to. Jesus game, don't touch me right, right at the goddamn beginning. I'm like a kitty cat. What you doing there, little kitty? And the craft looks amazing. I mean, despite being a Half-Life 1 mod, it looks impressive. And what I read from the description of this game, it takes place in a Swedish settlement. It was somewhere in Scandinavia. That's what I. That's what I saw, at least. Oh, well, read. And I pretty much looked up the name, and it pretty much said takes place in Sweden. It looks impressive. Cry of fear. This game ought to be good. Mod, I should say. And if you want to play this this mod by yourself, I'll put a link in the description below, or you can find it on Steam. It happens to be free. So knock yourself out if you want to play this. Is that the main protagonist? Details on that hair, that old man's hair. What the hell? That doesn't look promising. He baited us. What a douche! He baited us. We're dead, or we've been crippled. With that, that matter of fact. 
Well, oh, don't look at me like that. Hello there, old man. Those padded walls? Like when you isolations. Oh, hello there, old man. Like an isolated cell? He took us in his car. What the hell? Yeah, uh, uh, take it easy. Don't bang him too hard on the wall. Wake up. Uh, take the camera. What camera? And we're gonna go around the city and take some pictures. Oh, hello. Is it just me or this screen a little bit blurry? Hold on a sec. Okay, I fixed. Okay, apparently they have motion uh, screen blur on. Is that Half Life? Oh, fancy. We can take pictures. Gotta take a picture of the lamp, and perhaps the plant, perhaps the clock, or the X. Oh, we open another door. I hate you. Well, aren't you friendly? Another door, apparently. I'm having a feeling. It. Uh, yep. I was having a slight feeling we're gonna get jump scare. That was a cheap one if I do indeed say it so myself. I'm just gonna keep walking until the... Just photographing axis. Oh! Apparently. Okay then. Ooh, pretty damn straightforward. Is that us? I swear that looked like us. I can't take it anymore. Well, okay. Hello, the lady. the last one. Apparently not. There's some fucked up ships going on around here. That one seems pretty damn far away. <laughs> what the fuck? I took a picture. Does that help? If you want to throw up a jump scare like that, give me a heads up. That's something I would like to know. We seem to be in the alley? Some sort? How did I get here? But the old man dragged you over here, probably mugged you and pretty much stabbed you in some places. Hmm, no frog credit, that's usual. I better get moving, it's getting dark. Chapter 1, Lost in the City. Holy crap, oh I can, oh I can switch the knife mode, doesn't look half bad, hope. I have, it's very hard to believe this is a half-life mod, like a half-life one mod. I mean, holy crap, it looks amazing. Let's have to access your inventory. Oh, Simon's mobile phone, phone screen can be as a, hmm. And I can equip that. Where are you? Come home as soon as possible. It's getting late, mom. Oh, I can punch. Oh, fancy. Can I turn it? Can I turn it on? Yes, I can. Huh. Who is over there? You can hold shift to sprint. The blue bar on the hut is a stamina bar. Okay then. Find the code to the padlock. This padlock? Ah, I see. Okay then, I wanna cut my knife again. Because I wanna be a little bit safe. Let's be to your current objective. We do know our current objective. Thank you very much, game, but I don't need your assistance. We need to find a panel, so I guess we need to go and search somewhere. Can't I, like, drag you... Hmm? Oh. Okay, can I wield you at the same time? Can I? I don't get this. <gasps> can I have the phone? No, okay. No. Oh! Okay then! This is gonna be a jump scary game then! 
But it was gonna be a survival horror game. Where are the enemies? The mobile phone could be used as a source of life for navigating dark areas. Can I can I equip it and the knife at the same time, or do I really have to do like this? But it wasn't really that dark though. I guess some sort of light sort is good. Going up, I guess we are going up here. Something's gonna jump at me. If I know horror games, yeah, they really like to surprise you. What's this? A jack o' lantern? That's most definitely a jack o' lantern. Do you mind, clock? Let's be open. Do we go in here? Is this, is this some sort of bar or something? Hmm. What does a simple man like us do in here? Can I access this? Enter a username. Enter a password. Guess we need to look for a username then? Can we find it in here somewhere? I guess not. Can we find it outside, maybe? Hustle, right at the beginning! Isn't that splendid? I'm terrible when it comes to puzzles, missing the most obvious things ever. Oh, hello. Door... arrive? Okay, then, is that... is that the... Uh, okay, then, is that... important? But it probably is. Oh, another piece of paper. The bat, the beatless five four. What kind of a, what kind of a name is that? Is that our, is that our passwords and username? Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and write those down because I have a terrible goddamn memory. So I'm back. I wrote the names down. I can only expect that. The Beezeless 54 might be the username, and the other one might be the password. We're gonna hijack this mofo! I don't remember if it was capital or not. I bet it was capital. I mean, why the hell wouldn't it be capital? God damn it, I'm a slow typer. Hey, that's the username. I think that's it. I must... Okay then, I guess I'll go again. Go ahead and take a look again. I, I bet I misspelled something. How can I misspell something when the actual word is right there? Now tell me, what did I do wrong? Did I miss a T? Oh, I see. I missed a T. Instead of a T, I spelled a goddamn S. I see, I see. I'm a big, stupid idiot. Go Let's go ahead and try that again, then. This better work. Or maybe it's the other way around. That's, it's gotta be the other way around. But excuse me, then I'll exit out then. This gotta be it. Okay then. Th this better be the password. Here we go. Is somebody inside of here? Oh, 
Okay, we got a code. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down, even though that shouldn't be actually that difficult to remember. But I have a terrible memory. Jill, six, seven, 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 David. I thank you, David. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, dude, I saw you there. Where the hell do you think you're going, eh? Oi. Okay, it seems to have disappeared. We're, we are gonna get jumped on now, aren't we? I assume we'll head our way back then. I have absolutely no idea how long this is going to be. It'll be long. Um, I just know how long. I think as soon as I typed in this padlock code, I think it would be the end of the, the first part over here. I gotta say, I'm actually quite excited for this. This. Oh, actually. Let me see. Do, do I use the arrows? Apparently. D6. 777. Seven, seven. Booyah! There we go. Solving puzzles like a boss. Oh, this is dark. I don't like this at all. You can put up the free items in your quick slots. Yeah, but how do I... How do I combine them? Okay, apparently I can't... Okay, then. Oops, did I mean to do that? Oh, do I really like how to com equip the knife? I wanna be... Ah, uh, fuck, you know what? I, I wanna be safe. Because I don't like this at all. Let me close that door. Hello? What's the purpose? Look to the right. Who the hell? Oh, hell no. Somebody's gonna jump on me. I'm calling that shit. Somebody's going to jump on me. Oh, God, it's dark in here. They saved you again, but then look at you with that tape recorder. Uh, what is this? It looks like an old tape recorder. I should be able to record my thought and experience here. Okay, then. What do I do? I click here? Okay then. Did you get save? Okay, good, good, good. I didn't need to double save, but you know, you have to be cautious. Press mouse to perform a melee attack with your weapon. What the hell? To cause a small little amount of damage to monsters in your immediate. Use it to push enemies when surrounded. Or out of ammo. Okay, then. Oh, somebody's stalking us. What is that? Blood on the floor? Christ, this looks like it. What's going on? How the fuck did I even get here? Oh, we're gonna get jumped on. We're gonna get jumped on! Hello! Hello, sir! Do you mind maybe getting off of us? Oh, I fucking knew it! Good thing I actually equipped my goddamn knife! And we are not attacking, we are not doing well, aren't we? Shit! Die! You motherfucking pieces of shit! Die! What the hell? Who was he? I oh, what the police. fuck? Stop it! Stop it, those images! What the hell? You don't have any front cr crit, man. Oh, no signal. Yeah. No signal. <laughs> He's just got- oh, he disappeared right in front of my eyes. He's a magician! Of course! But anyways... I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm the Small GT, signing off.